just to put it in historical, a historical perspective, the models have been around quite a while. They started being used in the 1950s, mainly in agriculture, and there was a group in Edinburgh that was uh, one of the sort of forerunners in this, as well as another one down in the south of England. And it was out of this group, there was one particular person, Robin Thompson, who did a lot of work developing mixed models, who came to work at the Roslyn Institute for a while and introduced them into genetics, but that wasn't until I think the 1980s, um, possibly that I think there were others doing it before, but he was particularly influential. Also in the 1980s, then the social scientists started using um, what they called multi-level models, which are really a very, well, they are the same thing, it's just it's grown up with a completely different terminology, but the basic idea is the same. But until about the 1990s, it was really difficult to fit some of these models by hand and computers weren't particularly powerful, or at least not powerful enough to fit for some of the techniques needed to fit um, mixed models. But in the 1990s that became much less of a problem and the, they started being introduced into mainstream statistical packages such as SAS, I think, was an early one to get it, followed by GenStat. I mean, there were always specialised packages um, just for mixed models and then later I think things, packages like R became popular and there's, uh, it, it's been introduced into most of the more advanced statistical packages. And it wasn't used much in medicine until about the 1990s, but um, that's, uh, it's, it's used a lot in medicine now. Um, you'll find the models actually can be described in different ways. I'm talking about them as mixed models. They're called mixed because they've got fixed and random effects. It's perhaps not the best description for the models. They can also be described as multi-level models. And all these other descriptions also encompass mixed models, random effects models, hierarchical, variance component models. They're just mixed models without any fixed effects in. Random coefficients, random slopes models. They're all types of mixed model as far as I'm concerned. That's